Move over, fatty. Hello. Thank you if you've clicked into my video. This is a video, uh, one of another one of my kind of tech and kit waffle videos. Uh, in this video, I'm I'm gonna go over something uh, which I didn't really anticipate myself doing until this last week. Um, it's about magazines. Uh, I'm gonna give you a short story and about where I how I got to where I am. Very short story because I don't want this to go on forever. Um, how I've gotten to where I've gotten to, and why and where I'm going with it. So, um, generally indoors, I, I run a high capper, such as this, or my gold match, um, and I run a HPA mag. Whether that's a 50 round mag, uh, just HPA tapped, or whether it's my primary adapter, which I put one of the lightweight casings on, uh, just to make it a bit more mobile. Um, up until then, I was using this as a bit of a sidearm um, for my sniper. I've got a Silverback SRS and, and formerly a VSR-10. This was a bit of a kind of a skirmish sidearm. Not so much now because it started getting some fancy pieces on. I seem to get a fancy piece across here. Um, so it was a sidearm. So magazine-wise, uh, I, I tend to carry three magazines. This one's actually broken. Look at that. That's shit, isn't it? So, <laughs> magazines. I tend to carry three on me uh, in in respect of uh, in my in my pouches, and then one actually in the gun itself. Uh, so I've got four mags on me at any one point, but three three mags on your belt is is quite a weight. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at that weight, and we're going to look at the weight I have saved. Um, recently. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you a quick weight readout. Good, where's nothing? So a fully strapped 5.1 mag is about 373 grams. So it's a bit of a hoofer. Um, I'm really annoyed about that. I didn't realise that was cracked at all. I'm going to have to get myself another replacement base for that. Annoying. 373 grams for a magazine. So I've got three of these on me at any one point. So that's a kilogram of magazines. And then I've got the one in the gun as well. So it was nearly one and a half kilograms. That's a lot of weight to be lugging around on your belt and, and jumping about and jiggling about. And, and yes, I've got a fixed belt mole thing within a belt. So they don't jump about too much, but it's a lot of weight to be carrying on you and you bloody well know it's there. So... Um, I wanted to I wanted to change my loadout a little bit. I'm going to be heading up uh, once the goddamn lockdown ends up north. I'm going to be heading up to Huddersfield. I'm going to be going to Halo Mill. And from what I've seen, it's very tight in there. I don't want to be running my HPA. I want to be running green gas. So the option is a couple of really heavy extended mags or go lightweight. So going lightweight, really, your, your choice is a pro win. So 60-odd quid for a magazine, which is no different to this. The only difference is it's a lot bloody lighter. So, 60 quid for a mag. Well, I actually did a bit of looking online, and I found Garda. Do aluminium lightweight mag cases. Pretty nice things they are as well. So... Initially, I put one first in, into my primary because I wanted it to be lighter, but then this got me cooking about my other mags for, for playing up north. So I thought, well, do you know what, what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to convert my other mags. I've got a bit of spare money this month. Let, let's get them converted. So I got all my four mags out across the bench and uh, I, I've stripped them apart. So just for comparative sake, and I mean, I know this isn't the best because I run 4.3 mags. I do prefer 4.3 mags. I think they just look better in the pistols. Not so much when you've got a flared mag well, but nah, I can't be bothered. So a so bearing in mind a standard mag is 370 Oh fuck off. 373 grams. How cool is that? It's gone up in weight. 373 grams. Standard mag casing alone. It's 224 grams. Now, I always ran chrome because they just go in and out of the gun a lot easier than what the black ones do. In my mind, they did. It's a po more polished surface, they did. Uh, they also weigh exactly the same, 224. 
224. So this fully laden mag, now bearing in mind that this is a full mag, we've got the, the, the outer casing, we've got lips, which this doesn't have, we've got the follower, we've got the spring, we've got the base, and we've also got that base plate. Now, Garda make lightened base plates. That's this bit. There is a reason I didn't go for them. Number one, you need the dodgy springy bit, which the 4.3 mags don't have. And number two, apparently they're not very good. They don't let gas in very well. The inlet valves aren't great. And I don't know that the inlet valves are definitely Tokyo Marine. So I stuck with my 4.3 base plate. Um, it's not the heaviest thing in the world anyway, because there's not a big extension on there. Uh, so let's do the bit that you want to see. Uh, so 224 grams as a case. 165 as a fully laden mag. So I can get two of these mags for one of those bad boys. So all of a sudden, the weight on your belt has halved. The weight in your gun has halved. Now, for those people saying, ah, I need the weight. So this is my, my 4.3. It's looking a bit rough around the edge. We've got a new slide on its way. It's fine. So you hit the pressure. You hit the uh, the mag release. Yes, it is extended because this was a skirmish pistol. So bam, 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 out it comes. Straight out. Lightweight mag. Straight out. So I'm not actually losing anything. Gravity is doing its job. And I've halved my weight. These mag cases are plain. Where the Maria ones are printed. The other Maria one I've got is printed. I've got another four Maria ones are printed. And the Golden Eagle one is plain. But these mag cases were £11.50 each. So I ordered four mag cases for the price of what was going to be one Pro Win mag. Now one Pro Win mag would have been great, but I'd have still had a lot of weight in the other mags, and it would have buzzed my head having one different for the rest of them, so I'd have ended up buying four of them, and that's 250 quid. All in, these are 11 quid a piece, and then 10 quid postage. So I've paid £54 so about the price of one Pro Win mag, and I've halved the weight in all of my mags. So I kind of think I've got the ultimate mags running now. Um, so my mag setup, if you like, is Tokyo Marie Food Lips, because you want the best. You always want Marie. Uh, same for Follower and Spring there. That's all Marie stuff. Nine Ball Seals, because they are kind of regarded as being better they're slightly high, they sit slightly higher than the Murray ones. I don't know if they actually do the job better than the Murray ones, but they on paper they, they tell me that they do, so absolutely. Murray flow valve there. Yes, I could go for the uh, nine ball neo ones, but to be fair, these are pretty decent. They've never let me down. I get okay FPS out of them. Uh, Murray base plates, Murray fill valves, because obviously you want, again, you want nice, reliable fill valves. Yes, they're allowed to fill when they get full, but do you know what? I'm used to it. I could buy some Waldo hush rings, but I quite like it spitting it out because then I know it's done. And then uh, I've got the worst possible paint job on the bottom of every magazine. Number one, you know the mine. Number two, you ain't going to want them. It's the worst paint job you've ever seen in your life. And there you go. Uh, that is my magazine setup, and that is why I think you should buy. Garda magazine cases for the price they are, the weight that they take off, and how manoeuvrable they make the pistol. You don't even feel the weight in there. And I mean, you know, they fit so well. They just fit well. They eject well. Why wouldn't you run these bad boys? There we go. That was as short as I could make this. Thank you very much if you've watched this. Thank you very much if you are returning. If you are interested in buying the mag these garden mag cases, what I will probably say is do it. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. It's a relatively small amount of money. It will make your life easier. In respect of the fact that your kit will weigh significantly less, less bouncing about, you'll be more nimble, you will get better kills. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to come out and say you're going to get better kills. I've got no way of proving that, but you know what? You're going to be better for having lighter kit and you're going to be more mobile. Thank you very much indeed. If you've 
like I say, if you've liked it, please watch, please hit like. Uh, as always, critiques, comments are always welcome, uh, whether they are positive or negative. Uh, if, they're neg if they're a little bit too negative, I'll probably just remove them. Uh, and if you haven't already, please do drop me a subscription. I am looking to put some more gameplay content once the world opens back up. I'm going to be going to a whole host of sites and I cannot wait to get started. Keep an eye out for new and future coming up videos. Um, there is a lot of hype at the moment about these 4.3s. Apparently, Airsoft Masterpiece are doing a run of Battle Cats um, in 4.3 size. Yes, I've got one pre-ordered, so there's going to be a build. There's going to be another pistol build after I said there wasn't going to be one. And yes, I've got a Golden Eagle. The Golden Eagle is there. Keep an eye out on the Golden Eagle. The Golden Eagle is updating. Look at it. There's nothing there. Where's the top half of the Golden Eagle gone? I don't know. It was all rubbish. He moaned about it. Guess what? Something good's coming. Keep watching. Thank you very much. Please subscribe.